Hi there, 50 friends. Welcome back to Abby Thrifts. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Abby and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. So today I kind of wanted to bring to light something that happened to me recently on Poshmark and that is somebody opened up a case about an item that I sent them and this really upset me. I've never had somebody open up a case about an item that I sent them before. This was the first time that this happened and I'm bringing it here because it was something I wanted to talk about and I still am a little confused as to why it happened. I believe that it was out of my control and uh, I wasn't really sure how to handle it. And so maybe if uh, one of you guys out there has had a situation like this before happen to you and you weren't really sure how to handle it, uh, maybe let me know in the comments below what you did. Or maybe you've never been through this before and you would think, oh, well, this is what I would have done in that situation. That would help me a lot. Anyways, you can, you can comment anything you want below, but uh, before we get started, I do want to say that this video is not at all meant to drag this person through the dirt or to talk badly about them or to make them feel bad if they're watching this. It's really just to shed a light on um, the seller's point of view when this happens. Um, and, <laughs> you know, I think people tend to forget that sellers are not just robots behind a screen and they have feelings and some of the things that you say as a buyer does affect them emotionally and so that's mainly why I'm bringing this here so if there are other sellers watching this and understand what I'm saying then let me know in the comments so I don't feel so alone but let's go ahead and get started so this includes a little bit of a story time so about five or six years ago I was super super obsessed with Victoria's Secret and I was obsessed with their t-shirts their leggings their jogger sweatshirts underwear bras everything I bought everything there and funny enough, about a year ago, I sold like 95% of that stuff. So I do have about a few things left here. And one of those things was a red bedazzled bra, which caused this whole case scenario. Anyways, I can tell you the exact day, <laughs> actually not the exact day. I remember going to buy this bra. So one day I was walking along right into Victoria's Secret. I was like, oh my God, $75 to spend. What am I gonna do with it? Saw this red bedazzled Victoria's Secret bra. I'll throw it up right now. And I was like, I have to have it. So I bought it. It was about $70 after tax and it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I wore it three times after that. One of them was for a Halloween costume. The other two, I think, I don't even remember what I wore it for, but wore it about three times. So part of being a seller is thrifting items and selling them. So when it came to clothes in my own closet, I didn't really think to resell them, but this uh, clothing item had been sitting in my drawer for like five or six years, not being worn, only being worn three times. I said, you know what, I'm gonna sell this because this hasn't been worn and you know, I'm gonna make some money off of it. So I threw it up on Poshmark for like $18, I think $20 at the most, um, just because it was used, but it was still in really, really good condition. That's how, um, th that is how, uh, what am I trying to say? I didn't wear it. So if that proves anything, I just, I like rarely wore it. And so I threw it up on Poshmark, uh, had a, a decent amount of people like it. And then I had this one specific person Put it into their bundle so i offered them a discount and then they counter offered with something and so officially they bought it and um before that person bought it when i originally listed the item i made sure to you know mark um the color i added 14 pictures 14 pictures of this bra um, just to show them that this bra was victoria's secret it was in really really good condition um, i let them know that i pre-owned it I'm pretty open about that. If I were to thrift an item, um, I, I would not say, oh, well, I, I've had this for a while, but I would consider myself a pretty honest person when it comes to selling things online. But anyway, so yeah, had this bra for a while. Um, when I was listing it, I put a bunch of pictures up. I put a really long description. Um, so, so just to make sure that the buyer uh, would know exactly what they're buying. So when this person purchased it, they received it in the mail maybe four days later, which was really quick. And immediately they opened up a case 
and I, I, I didn't really know what to do because I had never had that happen. I was like, well, what could be wrong? And this person thought the bra was pink. And let me tell you, some people on Poshmark really have me questioning whether or not I'm colorblind. Let me know if anyone else thinks this. Um, <laughs> this isn't to put anyone else down. This is really just to question my own um, thought process. Like, am I, am I colorblind? I don't know. So this person opened up a case because they thought the bra was pink and they, their first comment was, seller sent me the wrong bra, this bra is pink. And I commented back something really nice. I was like, I'm so sorry that, um, you're dissatisfied with the bra that's the only bra that i have that was the one i sent to you when i purchased it um it was red um it might have a pinkish tint to it but um the bra is red and i wasn't trying to be rude or anything but i was just being honest i was like uh, truthfully um i'm questioning whether or not i'm colorblind at the moment but i truly do believe that it's red even after you saying it's pink i was just trying to be really nice and i was like you know what um if it's not what you originally thought it was i'm really sorry we can get this figured out and this seller eventually so for about five days straight her and i went back and forth about um she eventually got really angry at me for some reason i don't really know why um to be honest i i don't know um she got really angry at my responses i guess um everything is settled now uh she ended up wanting to keep the bra and so everything's all good she eventually apologized but uh kind of going back to the middle comments um the so when we're messaging back and forth i guess it's like a public thing so whoever is looking at this in poshmark can see all of our conversations and so it eventually got to the point where she was calling me a market bra seller and it's not a real victoria's secret bra and i was trying to um you know um lie to her and I was selling fake, fake VS bras and I, I didn't even know what to respond with because she was attacking me at every angle and going, this isn't red, you sent me the wrong one, this is fake Victoria's Secret, um, she's selling fake bras, you're a fake market bra seller. And I was like, if I'm a fake market bra seller, please tell me why there are no other bras on my Poshmark page. And she was telling me like, you didn't know this for five years. This is one you found and this is fake. And she was like, I looked up the ID and it's fake. And I was like, girlfriend, this is from like five or six years ago. The ID probably isn't online anymore. I don't know what to tell you. Like, please stop coming at me. And the whole experience kind of just really upset me because I think a lot of buyers think that sellers are out to get them maybe or like lie to them or um fake them out and you know if they're only doing things for money i don't know maybe this this buyer had a really bad experience with another seller but it just felt like she automatically assumed that i was um trying to like sell her something fake and i i I don't know, I would call myself a pretty trustworthy person. So the 14 pictures I added online, uh, I thought were were pretty good. They displayed the color really well. Um, and if any of you guys actually disagree with me because you saw the picture and I can throw it up again for you. If you think that this bra is pink, let me know because I've had both sides. I sent it to my friends after she originally brought it up and I was like, is this bra red or pink? I can't, you know, I can't tell it has me questioning. And some of them were like, oh, that looks a little pink, but I can see it's red. And some were like, that's definitely red. I got so many people. And so it was a little back and forth. So um, after a while I was like, I don't really want to fight with you anymore. If you want your money back, I will give you your money back. It's not really about the money. I just wanted the bra to go to a good home. Like that's why I'm getting rid of this stuff from my own closet. I wasn't going to lie about that on Poshmark, but yeah, so after a while, the case closed, Poshmark approved um, this girl's reasoning for wanting to send it back, which I, I was a little hurt by that too, um, but I did agree. I, I did say, hey, you know, if you want your money back, um, then just let me know. We can figure it out, whatever. So yeah, we got to figure it out. She, the next day after the case was approved, commented on one of my other pictures and said, hey girl, uh, sorry, you know, I feel bad for the back and forth. I'm just gonna keep the bra. And I was like, what? <laughs> Why 
why did we just have this back and forth conversation? But you know, all is good now. I made like $10 from it, so I don't think the $10 was worth that, but, but emotionally it had me really upset because I mean, she was calling me out and basically calling me a liar, calling me a, a market place bra seller and you know wasn't my bra and I'm lying about it and just the things that she was saying I was like I don't I don't know what else I could have done like I added 14 pictures I I made a really big description um, I was pretty open about offers and I know the world is filled with people with various opinions and um, you know people can think whatever they want and you're never going to please everyone and so that's what I kind of have to think about when I'm reselling. But for a hot second there, I was like, do I really want to be a full-time reseller? Do I really want to go down that road? Because I do not want to deal with people like that. And again, everything was all good. She ended up apologizing and keeping the bra, like I said. So I guess it's good that the sale went through. But I just, in the time being, I was just so confused on why that was even a problem. Um, and I guess, you know, I could see from her side too, like if she really thought that she was getting a pink bra or a red bra in the mail and then she got a pink bra, I don't know. I, I, I just feel like colors are so subjective sometimes. I mean, if you're seeing a teal, maybe I'm seeing a green and it, it, it's really made me question everything I put on Poshmark now. So now when I'm listing things on Poshmark, I will literally be like, if you have a specific color that you are wanting please message me like you know let's figure this out before you actually buy the item so you're not opening up a case against me and making me feel like i'm a terrible person <laughs> because it's not on purpose and you know if any other sellers out there have experienced that um, let me know uh, in the comments below and let me know what you also think of uh, this situation obviously everything is good now uh, the sun came up I'm happy. Roof over my head. I have water. So, you know, the world did not end because that happened, but it was just, it just felt like an inconvenience. And I know those are always going to happen. Things aren't always going to be happy and, you know, rainbows and butterflies when you're a reseller, but you just expect that. Maybe if someone was that particular with a color, maybe they would have questioned it. I'm not blaming this on her. I'm just talking out loud. You know, this is why I'm doing this video, but, um, I'm trying to see it from both perspectives, so, you know, just give it and take it. But anyways, guys, um, that was pretty much it. Let me know what you think, <laughs> like what color the bra is. Again, this was not s supposed to be like a bash time for this person. She seems like a really nice person. Um, she said she's on Poshmark all the time and, you know, maybe it was just a miscommunication. There's always things that I could be doing better. There's always things resellers could be doing better in general. Oh, looks like my light went out. Maybe that's a sign to stop. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, you know, what <laughs> color the bra is, what you, what you would have done in that situation. Do you think that I handled it okay? I think I handled it okay. Maybe you'd have to get a better perspective if you saw the messages, but um, I will say, that I am a Scorpio and if anyone knows any Scorpios in their life, um, I truly believe that Scorpios attack when they are attacked. And so it's something I feel like that's innate in me that if someone's attacking me, I attack back even harder. And um, I tried not to do it with her. I really tried. I tried my best, um, but yeah, I, I, I was trying to let her know my side and uh, that if she wanted her money back, she could have it back. It wasn't really about the money. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today. If you like my content, want to follow along on the journey, go ahead and press that subscribe button or that like button. And uh, yeah, you can just follow along and follow me when I go to Goodwills and, you know, sit in my room in a dark room. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later.